Taurus, hi. For those of you who have been here before, welcome back. And to those of you who it's your first time, welcome to Surrender to the Flow Tarot. I'm Denise, and I'll be doing a general reading for the collective of Taurus today. That's Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Any placement is all good. It's just a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. Just be careful not to insert yourself into a story that isn't yours. Okay, so today we are asking the universe, where are you right now? What space does the universe want you to be in? And what you can do or how you can, things you can do to get into that space. And the decks that we're using are the Amenti Oracle, the Work Your Light Oracle, the Gaia Oracle, a lot of decks. Star Child Tarot, the Rider Weight Tarot, and the Muse Tarot. Okay. So I do a pre shuffle before, um, and just to get the like underlying energies. And what came up for you is the Three of Cups in reverse and the Moon. All right. So what's happening is some kind of delay. Um, there's some kind of stepping back and some kind of pause and it could be in love or it could be moving from friendship to love or, you know, from something platonic into something romantic and intimate. It could also be that. I don't know yet. I can't tell from just these two. Um, the moon is saying there's something unknown, there's something hidden. So either you're stepping back because you feel like something, someone else is hiding something, or you have something that you're not sharing. Let's see where you are now. And we're pulling from the muse tarot for that. Okay, so where's Taurus right now? Where is Taurus right now? That smoke is from my incense. If you see smoke all of a sudden come by, it's from the incense I'm burning. <laughs> this is bananas, okay. Where you are right now is the three of emotions, which is the three of cups, but in the upright. And what was underlying was the three of cups in the reverse. <laughs> okay, so you moved out of that, back into, let's see, what also came out is the high priestess. And under that is the seven of voices and voices are swords. Okay. So you're coming out of something happened that caused you to doubt whatever the situation was. So seven of swords is liar, cheater, stealer, uh, but it also can be self deception, self um, sabotage, even like you take some of the swords because you don't know when you're gonna need them. You know what I mean? So, <sighs> interesting. But you are in a place of harmony right now in communion with other people and you are listening to your intuition. So, kudos for you guys, y'all, for whatever that is. I don't think we need to figure it out because you already know what it is and um, it's not important for me to figure it out because I know you already know what it is. So we'll move into where does the universe want you to be? I'm so curious because it seems that you're already in a really good spot. You're being led by your intuition and you're listening to it. So for this, we're going to pull spinning, sorry, from the Star Child Tarot and the Amenti Oracle. Okay. 
didn't fall. Was I honor virtue? Okay, so truth. This is about finding the truth. And it seems like you found it. I converse with awareness. So that's being in alignment with mind and body and soul and using your voice. I benefit with gratitude. These are where the universe wants you to be. And let's see what your star child tarot card is. It's too much for me to shuffle. I can't hold it all in my hand, so I have to split it and do it in halves, okay? cards. This is where the universe wants you to go into. The Knight of Wands. But that Knight of Wands. We don't usually see the Knight of Wands like so divinely in alignment. You know, the Knight of Wands, I guess, traditionally is kind of an in and out energy. It's it's very moved by passion and impulsivity and very hard. It's not, it's very felt like holistically, like strongly, but it's not necessarily committed or invested. It's invested for a while the moment is there, you know what I mean? And the three of swords. Huh. Okay. This is the space the universe wants you to come into. So. I am feeling forgiveness. I'm gonna pull more cards on this, okay? We're gonna use the Klimt. Are we gonna use the Klimt deck to? No, we're gonna use the Rider Waite deck. Huh, hold on. We're gonna use the Klimt deck to clarify this because I'm not totally sure if the Knight of Wands is a person who hurt you. The Three of Swords is devastating heartbreak. The universe would not want you to move into devastating heartbreak. It would want you to let go of devastating heartbreak. What I'm not sure about is if the universe wants you to let go of this Knight of Wands. If there's a Knight of Wands is a person, it's not you. If the person is you, because that's what I'm thinking, like I converse with awareness, I benefit with gratitude, is, is being mindful, respecting your space first, in the divinity and everyone you're interacting with, right? Gratitude, benefit with gratitude is seeing the good that comes out of the bad. Do you know what I mean? Bad happens so that good can be reborn, right? Because something needs to be shooken up usually. So that's saying to me, it could be with the seven of voices, right? And this reverse three of cups, that the universe is, is asking you to see the situation, accept it, forgive it, and let it go and move on, right? To know, if you're the Knight of Wands, to know when to leave. Or to be in this situation and, and listen to your intuition and be detached from any outcomes to be in it passionately and come passionately. It could be any of these things. So I'm gonna pull clarifiers, just see if we can get this a little more solidified. But 
if any of those scenarios fit, you'll know, you'll know. Let me know in the comments because it would be really helpful to see if multiples of them fit for multiple of you or if one of them fits for multiple of you or none of those fit, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get some clarifiers. Woo, that didn't fall out, but guess what? It was this, oh, it's the seven of wands and the five of cups. And also the five of cups is on the bottom. So that's being deeply disappointed. Okay, that was something love in love with a that should have been happy and beautiful and something happened and it wasn't and you're focusing on the um the the three cups that are empty instead of the two that are, are full. You know what I'm saying? But that didn't come out, it just flipped. So it's just reiterating that you're coming from a place of really deep sadness of disappointment. Okay. So let's see. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Swords on the bottom. Okay. Okay, so I think this was a third party situation. and your foundation got taken away. But you have come to something, you've come to some kind of acceptance of it. And the universe wants you to keep doing that. To stay uh, fluid. To let go of control of the outcome, but retain responsibility for your reactions and your, your responses. To not let the past and the hurt and the disappointment choose what path you take and what actions you take now. Do you, you know what I'm saying? I want to pull one more clarifier because I feel like we need one more and I'm going to pull it with the star child tarot. Oh, I just screamed in my head. No, use the rider weight. So we're going to use the rider weight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I hear you. The judgment in reverse, okay. So your transformation has been halted because there's an, there's an ending, there's, a, there's an outcome that you're not accepting. And because that could be that you don't have control of the outcome and you're not accepting not having control of it. It could be whatever, you know, something happened that you would rather see something different happen. And so the universe is saying you're, you're transforming and you're halting it and to be in the flow, be in the flow and not against the flow. Okay. So let's see how you can get there. Be in the flow. That's what I'm going to call this, Tarians. Sorry if you can hear that outside.
helps kill my taurine streak to get into the space where I'm going to be in. Wow. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? And notice there are three images on here. So this is really interesting, right? So if this is not a third party situation with someone else, it could be you. It could be the Trinity. It could be like body, mind, and spirit. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know how it how it plays out. Let me know in the comments. It would be so helpful if you're open to sharing. Okay, let's read this, okay? Don't dim your light to accommodate someone else's smallness. We are all born to shine big and bright. The universe is expanding and you are part of the universe. So expanding is part of your nature. If someone makes you want to retract, notice. And slowly back away. They are not for you and you are not for them. Better yet, find it within yourself to expand and shine your light anyway. Flowers don't open and close according to who is walking by. They open and show their beauty regardless. If others don't want to be around you or you make them uncomfortable, it's because you are shining light on the fact that they are dimming to fit in. By choosing to shine bright, you may just inspire them to turn on their light too, or not. Keep your light on anyway. All relationships are essentially an energetic agreement. The, move, the moment one person decides to start rising up and allowing their light to shine, it changes the energetic agreement and can create some waves. That's completely normal. The relationships that are meant to last will adapt to the change in the energy. Others won't because they were likely born under the provisio of I love you as long as you don't shine brighter than me. That's okay. Not all people are meant to be in your life forever, but the lessons they teach us can still live on. Okay. So that's what this is. All right, Taurus, you stars, you earth stars. Right, my bad. You are the queen of pentacles. This is you. Let's see your one last piece of advice for how to move into this, back into this space of being in the flow. And I guess that means letting your light shine. Whatever happened and whatever they took from you, they didn't, they didn't take it. You still have it. You have it. Okay. It's birthed in you. It starts and begins and ends with you. It doesn't come from outside. It's always here. So you can always be a phoenix. You feel me? So let's see what your last piece of advice from the universe is. From the Gaia Oracle. Reflection, illusion, self-examination, distortion. So I see a whole lot of solar plexus and heart chakra going on, okay? So look into those. There's the candle flame reflection. You can look, you can YouTube search for how to unblock your solar plexus and your heart chakra or how to open it, either one. What you see around you mirrors what you feel within you. The chaos you perceive or experience in your physical reality 
simply reflects, reflects your inner chaos and turmoil. If things are not working well in your outer world, what is it that is not working well within you? This card calls for a thorough self-examination. Do not merely skim the surface. You must delve deep to uncover the truth. This will take time, patience, and commitment. Observe your thoughts and feelings throughout the day and make a note of negative or unconstructive thoughts and feelings. This practice over time will in itself help heal and restore balance to your life. It may be helpful to keep a diary in which you note your thoughts and feelings. What is it that triggers these thoughts and feelings? Journal writing will also help provided that the journal is for your eyes only. It may also be helpful to seek professional advice from a qualified counselor or health practitioner who has experience in this field. Commit to this reflective journey, be disciplined in your approach, and you will never look back. The rewards will be greater than you ever imagined. Here's your affirmation. My heart is full of love and light. All is well in my world. I feel the peace within me, and this creates peace around me. I observe all I think and feel. Each negative thought or feeling is automatically transformed to love. So there you go, Taurus. I feel like you guys are hurting right now, but you can get out of this. You can overcome this. It can happen, okay? And you're not alone. You got me and you got everybody else watching this. I hope this helped. And thank you for coming and sharing your energy with me. Let me know in the comments if it helps or not, or how it resonated, or things that I may be missed. Okay, that would be really helpful. All right, thank you, Taurus. See you next week.